Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will see the mutual exclusion with the busy waiting and that will be implemented by the synchronization hardware. Let us see how this mutual exclusion and busy waiting will be implemented by synchronization hardware. In the last class we have seen the Peterson's algorithm for solving this critical section problem and also we have seen the drawback also. Uh, because the Peterson solution is not suitable for modern computer architecture, hence the number of processes is limited only to processes. So, we will move to another solution. Uh, nowadays, we are having more number of uh, uh, solutions for this critical section problem from hardware uh, to software based application programming interfaces. Okay, and these um, solutions will be very much helpful for the kernel developers as well as the application program developers because many time uh, we have to solve this critical section problem while developing our applications okay and all these solutions are based on locking okay locking means protecting the critical region by using locks okay one process uh, trying to execute the critical section means the other process how to wait until the lock will be released by the first process. And now let us see the synchronization hardware that is how this simple hardware instructions can be used effectively for solving the critical section problem. Because when compared to software instructions, the hardware instructions can execute very fast because the software instructions are high level language and hardware instructions are machine language isn't it so machine language can execute faster so that the programming task will be easier to improve the system efficiency when when we use this machine level languages okay right here the critical section problem could solve in a single processor environment with some atomic functions this is important okay with some atomic function let me explain what is atomic functions and should be executed without interrupt what this atomic function should be executed without interrupt that is non preemptive functions for what purpose to lock the critical region okay hence the atomic functions are used to lock the critical regions and that should be executed without any interrupt because these functions contains shared variables okay so this is important here let us take the hardware instructions load and store we cannot execute load and store at the same time for the same memory region isn't it at a time we can load some instructions or otherwise we can store some instructions okay so load and store cannot be executed at the same time for the same uh, memory region right so this is the very good example for this atomic functions because these two are atomic functions and these two cannot uh, execute for the same memory region at the same time in the synchronization hardware locking is very important concept which is used to protect the critical region from other process okay uh, and this locking will be implemented by using a very simple hardware instructions effectively to solve the critical section problem and the test and set method which is a very popular method here we are using this to solve the critical section problem let us try to understand what the locking is for example uh, we are having a critical section that is a room okay one room is there and one person is there the person wanted to do something alone inside the room so what he will do he will open the door and he will enter into the room then he will lock the door okay he will lock the door then he will do all his work inside the room after completing this work then he will open the door and come out so that the other person will go inside and the other person will also lock the room and he will do all uh, his work after completing this person will open the door and come out okay so likewise the locking is very much useful for uh, executing the critical section one by one 
all the process would execute sequentially okay the most important characteristics of this set, test and set method is that should execute atomically that means at a time only one set and test method should be executed if two methods comes for execution then uh, that means if two methods should come with different cpu then they will be executed sequentially with some order not concurrently okay that means the test and set method should execute sequentially if the machine supports this test and set instruction means we have to implement this mutual exclusion by declaring the boolean variable lock initialized to false that means boolean lock equal to false boolean lock equal to false the value for false is zero initially okay so we have to start this uh, test and set method by uh, assigning the false value to the lock and now let us see the definition of test and set method okay this is the test and set method and it is having one argument of type boolean and this is the pointer variable okay this argument is pointer variable that is target is a pointer variable and this test and set will return a boolean value okay and here we are having one local variable rv the value of target will be assigned to this rv right after that the target value will change to true this is very important because by using this only we can protect the critical region that is the lock will be changed to true that means and return rv that is we are going to return only this rv not this target this is very important many of the students will uh, make error only in this place okay so we have to return the rv that means whatever data is there in target the same will be written by this method right okay now let us see how the process one will lock the critical region by using test and set okay so here um, that will enter into the do while loop after that one while loop is here right ended by semicolon this is very important when the condition will be true if the target value is true that is sorry if the target value is true then this particular thing will be true if the while condition is true then what will happen the control will execute continuously the while condition until the while will turn to false okay until the result is false this statement will be executed continuously because it is ended by semicolon okay so if it is initially if it is false then it will enter into the critical region otherwise it will do nothing right after completing this critical region then lock will uh, set to false okay then the remainder section will be executed and this will be executed until this true okay so this is what process one and now let us check uh, how the process one will lock the critical region so initially the target value is zero uh, false isn't it so initially this value is false we have to assume so if the target value is false then the rv value will also be false okay after that we change the target into true we change the target into true and the rv will be written what is the value in rv false isn't it so false will be returned to the while loop right okay initially what is the condition this is false okay if it is false then the control will enter into the critical region and it will execute this critical region after completing this the lock will be changed to false the lock will be changed means the target value will become false here okay then the remainder section will be executed okay so this is what the process one will lock the critical section by using test and set and now let us see how the process one and process two 
will use this test and set condition for executing the critical region uh, in a sequence manner right so initially the target value is false initially the target value is false and the return type should also be false once the function is called then the target value will be changed to true okay so if process 1 executes that is wanted to execute the critical region first then what it will do uh, the while condition this particular statement will become false isn't it so initially the target value is false the same uh, value through this r we will return to the test condition test and set isn't it so initially this particular while is false hence the process 1 will execute the critical region process 1 is executing now now simultaneously the process 2 will also try to execute the critical region okay when come to here see what is the while value now the while value uh, the target value is now true isn't it so because of the process 1 it calls the test and set now the target value is changed to true now the while condition result is true hence it will not come out from the while condition okay continuously the control will execute the while condition until this p1 will complete its critical region then the lock will be turned to false by the process one once the lock is false then this particular section will be false isn't it the target value will be false now the target value will be false now then only this while loop condition will become false then the process 2 will come out from the while section uh, while loop then it will execute the critical region right after completing this this process 2 will also release that lock then uh, this is how the process 1 and process 2 will share the common critical region by using the set and uh, test and set method first let us try to understand what is mutual exclusion it is an important property of process synchronization that means no two processes can exist in the critical section at any given point of time that means only one process can access the critical section and all the other process have to wait until the first process completes its execution okay so this is called as mutual exclude exclusion okay right so for example this is one room at a time only one person can access this particular room that is one only one person can utilize this room okay one boy is coming here and he will open the door he will go inside and he will lock the door until he completes its work okay and one girl will also come here right now boy is actually inside then he locked the room up to that the girl should wait the girl should wait once the door opened the boy will come out then the girl will go inside the room and she will also lock the door and he has to do uh, her work okay once she also complete she will open the lock and come out from the room so this is what mutual exclusion that means the room is now critical region the room can be accessed only one person at a time right and now let us try to understand what is busy waiting okay busy waiting means a process waits and can constantly checks for the condition to be satisfied before proceeding its execution okay so this is called as busy wait so here the process one is using the shared resources this is process one and this is the shared resources and if there is only one process no problem and when process two comes to access the shared resources then what will happen initially the process one is accessing the shared resources so the process two have to wait okay and process two enters the busy waiting 
because it has to check continuously whether process 1 completes its execution then only the process 2 will enter is not it. So, this is called as busy waiting. So, in our coding when process 1 executes the critical section ok when the process 1 will execute if this test and set is false. See once we call this test and set what will happen the target value will be changed to true ok then the process 2 will come and it will execute this particular while condition then what is the result of while condition this is true is not it this particular value is true hence it will not come out from this while condition. So, continuously it will test this particular while condition until it becomes false when it will become false the process 1 will complete its critical section then it will change this lock value into false this lock value that means this is a pointer variable and then only the target value will be false and this particular condition will become false then only the process 2 will enter into the critical section ok. So, this is called as busy waiting the, now the process 2 will busily waiting and continuously checking this while condition ok for entering into the critical section. Up to this we have seen the synchronization hardware uh, for implementing this mutual exclusion and busy waiting that is how the test and set method is used to lock the critical region is not it. Now this is the question time uh, students please write the answer for what is mutual exclusion you can write your answer in the comment box and in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you.